Good morning, I'm Ella. And I'm Addison, and welcome to another edition of Bird's Eye News, featuring stories from all across Cardinal Nation. Here are today's top stories. A lady Cardinal powerlifter brings her teammates up, and a D1 football prospect eyes powerlifting gold. Bird's Eye News starts now. Senior Lorelai Thompson leads by example, coaching her fellow powerlifters on the road back to state. Here's Carol with more. Lorelai placed third last year at the state powerlifting meet and hopes to qualify again this year. I think I've come very, very far from my freshman year. Well, you know, Lorelai's a senior. She came up for powerlifting as, as a freshman, and, you know, she wasn't super experienced with it, but she was naturally pretty strong. And watching her grow as, as a freshman into what she is now as, as a senior, it's, it's been awesome because you know, early on, I think she didn't really know how strong she could be. I've, I'm hoping at state I can be around 500, and I'm hoping that I can continue powerlifting after high school. And Lorelai is extremely consistent. Just that consistency, that work ethic is what has allowed her to be successful as a powerlifter. Teammates and coaches say Lorelai is a leader like any other coach in the weight room. She's always came to practice with a smile. Um, she always has the best attitude on the team. During practices, she encourages us to put more weight on the bar every every rep and get better every day. At meets, she's making sure, checking in on us and making sure that we're staying on task. Powerlifting really is a huge mental game. It's believing in yourself and knowing that you can really lift these heavy weights. My first year going to stay, everybody was just super nice and it was, it was amazing, it was great. It was such a great learning experience and I can't wait to see if I can go back this year. Girls Regionals will take place February 28th at Prosper High School. After finishing second at state last year, junior Owen Hollenbeck is hungry for a state title. Here's Akaya with more. Owen Hollenbeck won second place in his weight class last year and makes dietary changes to gain weight on his journey back to state. So I've been working with Owen since he you know, first got to Melissa High School as a freshman. He's always kind of been a big, strong kid, but he's worked really hard to build on top of that. And so being a part of his strength and conditioning in football, being a part of his powerlifting training, you know, it's been a privilege. I'm already at where I ended last year. And I'm just putting more on from there. And then with that, I'm also trying to be a little bit more clean with how I'm eating. So I'm not getting a lot of like, Wait, that's bad. And so like currently I'm sitting at 330 pounds, I think. In the last two, three weeks, I really shut down everything I was doing, even my cardio. I uh, dimmed it down so I could gain a little bit more weight, uh, be a little more heavy, because that weight helps a lot. I put 20, 30 pounds on all my lifts and just really prepared to go ball out against a bunch of guys that are two years older than me and probably about 60 pounds heavier. Owen's a great kid. You know, really it's just about um, making sure he feels prepared, making sure you know, he understands his strengths, maybe understands, okay, these are my weaknesses. Coaches and teammates say Owen is a leader in the weight room. He's a great example to our younger athletes because of his work ethic. Every time we, we have a practice, every time we lift, he's always just there pushing us to be better. It's helped me grow as a leader. I mean, it really helps me like reflect with other people and other sports and in life. When he's motivating us, it's just like another coach. He's also been training some of the younger people so he's helping them prepare for varsity. I really hope to achieve going back to state, and I really think I can. I think it won't be as hard as last year, but there'll be a few guys I'm still going to be going against, and I'm looking forward to that. Boys Regionals will take place March 2nd at Keller Central High School. See you next week. Thanks for watching.